everyone, I'm Rita Varios, your host of Latin Connection TV. As usual, at the most exciting events in town, and right now we are live just minutes away from some of the most important films being featured at the San Antonio Film Festival right here at the Palladium Santicos in San Antonio, Texas. And to my right, I have, in fact, one of the filmmakers being featured tonight. He is Mr. Gary A. Bear. Follow me. Not too far away. There we are. That wasn't too, too far for you, was it? Although, Gary, you come from a little bit far. You are hailing to us from? From Los Angeles. From LA, by the way, that's my alma mater city. All right. I graduated, I'm a magna cum laude graduate from UCLA, go Bears. Fantastic. <laughs> So anyhow, welcome to our city of San Antonio. You are tonight featuring a film, which is called? Thursday Speaker. We're having our world premiere tonight at the San Antonio Film Festival at 7 p.m., so it's coming right up. That is coming right up, and we're so proud to have you here featuring your world premiere. And something that's really special for us, because as you know, San Antonio is a predominantly Hispanic, Latino community. Uh, and in fact, you have a talent in your film who is of Hispanic descent, right? Correct. Yeah, our lead actor, his name is Del Zamora. He's a um, fantastic actor. He's been in over 100 movies. He's just a professional working actor who's been at it his, his entire life. He's, uh, he has credits from he's True Blood to uh, Longmire. And uh, a lot of people know him best from his first movie that he was in, which was Repo Man. Oh, the, yes, that's a known film, very much so. So tell us a little bit, because we are here to highlight you and your work. Uh, can you tell the viewers of Latin Connection TV a little bit about your film without giving too much away, because we want you guys to find the film and watch it, right? Sure, yeah. Thursday Speaker, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a dark comedy. It's, a, it's about a man who's, uh, who's an AA speaker. He's like a uh, motivational sobriety speaker, but secretly he's still a drunk. And uh, his, his entire world is just based on lies. And it's about his journey to become honest, to learn how to live honestly. And so I guess that's the question that the film answers. Does he, does he make that journey? I guess we're going to have to tune in to find out. And in fact, we're minutes away from doing that. And I'm going to make this a quick interview, ladies and gentlemen, because Gary has to go. The film is literally premiering in 15 minutes in another theater. So with that, we bid you adios. And good luck. Mucha suerte, as we say here on Latin Connection TV. And you, my viewers, don't go away because I have more interviews coming right up live at the San Antonio Film Festival right here Hi on Latin everyone. Connection As TV. promised, I'm coming right back to you with another wonderful interview. In fact, the gentleman who is responsible for this San Antonio Film Festival here, and his name is Adam Rocha. Very proud to say that he is of Hispanic descent right here on Latin Connection TV. Welcome, Adam. Howdy, howdy. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for, in fact, having us here. And I'm very, very lucky because tonight, Adam, if you can tell my viewers here of Latin Connection TV, I'm here to interview you and to highlight uh, some of the talent here tonight. But you were so kind to have me here tonight to do. Oh, yeah, you're the MC tonight. Thank you for uh, hosting. I appreciate that Thank greatly. You. Yeah. So I'm doing double duty here tonight. Hey. Muchas gracias. It's big really an honor for me. Yeah, big catch us. Oh, thank you. No, thank you so much. So tell me a little bit about how the San Antonio Film Festival, how did you become involved with the film festival? Um, I started when I was 22. and Which uh, was last year. <laughs> thank you. Uh, a couple years ago, and now 19 years later, we're the... Uh, <laughs> we're a nonprofit now. We're a little bigger, but uh, okay. It, it I think small. he's lying. Or you need to tell our viewers like what what creams to use <laughs> or what Botox. None. You know what? I'm going to credit that to our our Latino, our Hispanic <laughs> genetics, right? Beautiful. Yeah, very good, right? So anyhow, back to, back to the topic. So about 19 years later now. 19 years later. Fast are. forward. Yeah, and. Uh, Thanks to our sponsor, Santico's. Um, this is the second year at this beautiful place, the Palladium, and uh, we're able to have sold-out screenings tonight, this morning, and last night. We actually doubled our attendance. Okay. I'm that, congr yeah. Congratulations. That, that says a lot. I know that there is a strong film community here in San Antonio. And as a matter of fact, I shared with you behind the scenes, there's some film lingo for you, that in fact, my fiance and I are also filmmakers. He uh, wrote and we're both co-producing and he's the lead actor in a beautiful film that we're putting together uh, called Jimmy and Mia. Nice. So look for that possibly in next year's yeah. festival and other upcoming festivals. And I'm going to have more information about that here on Latin Connection TV at some point in the near future. Yeah. But in the meantime, uh, tell us a little bit about the films that are being featured tonight. 
tonight's film, uh, seven o'clock screening, is uh, premiere Brian Ramirez film. It's a feature film called uh, Mission Park. And it's a story of two friends um, that split apart as they grow older. One's a cop on the good side of the law, and one's a bad guy on the other side of the law. Good cop, bad cop. <laughs> and uh, I, I think we're at a sold-out capacity right now, so we're actually not taking tickets, which is a good thing. That is a fantastic yeah. thing. Congratulations on that. Yeah. And then there's another film. Is This is the 7 o'clock showing. Yeah. There's another one coming up at 9. Yes. Um, San Antonian, uh, Jackie Earl Haley, we're screening his film. He'll be here on the red carpet as well. So, And to intro his film, The Watchmen. It's a uh, superhero uh, action film. Um, I think it came out in 2009. And it's uh, it's really a heady comic book when it came out. Um, uh, not, not, really character driven. So it's a great film. So well, we're looking forward to seeing these films and the others that are coming up. And you need to stay right there because we are, in fact, going to have more interviews coming up tonight, Adam. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, we'll show you some footage as we go along in the evening. And also, we'll be back again tomorrow night. Yes. So we're here for the long haul as you should be too. Stay right here with me, connected on Latin Connection TV. Hola a todos, here I am, Rita Varios, Latin Connection TV, with a special treat, actually, for Latin Connection Sports. I ran into someone who is better known as, I'll, I'll let him say what the nickname is, but Mr. O'Neill, better known as Lefty. Right, right, yeah. thank you. So tell us why you're here, because part of why you're here is the reason I would like to feature you and inform our viewers of Latin Connection Sports. Well, I'm glad you're, you're doing this, Rita, because um, I wrote a book back in old, uh, January of 09, and it was a biography about my life story. And uh, it was put in the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, and I went on a book tour, and I started touring all over America speaking in behalf of the book. And one of the ladies in the audience happened to be Robin Nations from Nations Television Production Company, um, Movie Production Company. You never know. Goes to show. You never, never know. know who's going to show up. And in fact, a little uh, interruption. We were talking behind the scenes how when you get an invitation, right. you should just go. go. You right. never know why you're being invited. Right. You should just go. And in his case, look who was there. Right. And she comes up and says, my story needs to be. Uh, put it on the in film, and I said, yeah, I would love for it to be. Who are you? And that developed a relationship with us. I, I checked out a few of her movies and loved them, and so we signed a contract a couple months ago to start a movie production for me, and so my life story, I guess, according to her today, was going to be in the spring of either 14 or, or 15. We're not sure yet. But Congratulations. It's great because it's San Antonio. That's right. it's, it's where I retired from the Air Force, this is my home now, and it's just nice to be able to have it to premiere here. Which I... So in the meantime, while this film is being put together and, and ultimately produced, what tell the viewers what the name of the book. They can, in the meantime, read the book. Yeah, please do, because it's based on the book. It's Dreaming of the Majors, Living in the Bush. There's symbolism there, obviously. Here's a kid, five-year-old kid, dreaming to play Major League Baseball, but he's not dealt that. So what does he do? And I just happen to be chosen as a white man to play in the professional Negro Leagues. And later on in the history books, I became the only white man, I guess, wow. in two different states and two different contracts to do that. And as a matter of fact, you commented you just returned from a recent honor. Yeah. In fact, uh, President Jimmy Carter had me at his place in Plains last year. He took my, he brought me and my wife there, and I spoke at his national site. And then I went to his Sunday school class the next morning, and Harriet and I were there, and he was the one who was teaching a Sunday school class, and he really loved the book, and he wanted me to tell the story at his national site, his hometown, because he had something similar happen to him. And well, I love it. It just goes to show, uh, you know, that in art, I believe there are, there is no color, you know, right. in sports, right. especially in sports, and uh, it just goes to show, you know, I'm going to dare to say that you're, it was your destiny to be in the Negro League, because... I'm just going to dare to say that you're white on the side and a little black on the inside there. A little think, soul must, brother right be. here. <laughs> in fact, the first instance I had was... I say that about myself, well, too, by the way. <laughs> the first thing that happened to me on the mound, they told me that I had to walk to the mound a certain way when the music's being played, so the soul strut. I didn't know what that was, so they, yeah, the I, had, swagger. I had to practice that. And then the Pointer Sisters came on, and it took me forever to get to the mound. And when I got to the mound, the stadium was in... They were laughing their heads off. 
the first baseman looked at me and says, please, don't ever do that again. <laughs> I love it. So maybe I was d destined to play there, but obviously. But not, but not, not dance. dance. Yeah, right. not dance. Right. You know, you, di you didn't get the rhythm. Uh, you didn't get it, the rhythm. The league was wonderful. Uh, it was great in, in, in Mississippi. It was great here in Texas. And I wanted Texas people to know that it, the Negro League started in 1949 here and died in 1979. So it lasted a long time here. It sure did. Sure and, did. and now it's going to stay on and live on in history thanks to the book that you've written. Absolutely. And all our Latin Connection TV viewers are going to have to stay tuned for the upcoming movie. Absolutely. Right, Lefty? Absolutely. Well, I also play the Spanish America League. So I, I know that a lot of them know about that league that's here in San Antonio. I play for Alamo Enterprises too, so... Good. Which brings me to, why don't you leave the uh, viewers with a website where they can contact you? Yeah, they can contact me on leftyoneal.com. They can also uh, email me at r-o-n-e-a-l uh, at, at uh, s-a-t-x dot r-r dot com. Uh, they can get my book on Amazon. They can get it at Barnes & Nobles. They can download it on anything. So. so no excuse. No excuses. No excuses. No. You can find this book anywhere and everywhere. There you have it. So with that, we are going to close out this wonderful, very special interview and exclusive for Latin Connection Sports. And you stay tuned right here because we have one more interview coming right up, right here at the San Antonio Film Festival with Latin Connection TV. Hello, everyone. It's Rita Varios coming to you live from the San Antonio Film Festival right here on Latin TV. Met by right in the middle of the film festival, we are in one of the theaters at the very end at one of the screenings, a fantastic film by a local filmmaker. But right now we have another person that's so important to the film industry. Without him, films simply couldn't be made. And this is Andrew Aguilar Casting. I have to tell you, Andrew, first of all, welcome. Thank you so much, Rita. Look at you. Looking amazing as beautiful. As always. Thank you. Muchas gracias. You know what? I had to make him cast me in a film or oh. something like that yes. to thank him for that compliment. Oh. <laughs> She's we'll get into that later. But in fact, here's the other half of Andrew Aguilar casting. Kevin, welcome. Hi, nice to see you. Thank, thank you for you. having me. Thank you for being here. And in fact, uh, we were discussing, as a matter of fact, when did you establish Andrew Aguilar Casting? Um, I established Andrew Aguilar Casting out in Los Angeles probably, oh my gosh, it's been 15 years ago. You are such a liar. Yeah, 15, whatever. You're oh like 23. Really? So you started when you were 7? I was I was young. No, I just I just I I just turned 34 last year. You week. did not, I'm serious. My my fiance and I were commenting when we went in to do that one of the auditions. When we left, we were commenting how impressed we were with how young oh, you really? were. So our congratulations well, to you. you. Yes, um I started off in, you know, uh, went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, did a little bit of Broadway. I was on Rules of Engagement. I was on Days of Our Lives, Never Been Kissed, uh, American Pie 3. Then I got into casting. But that's just a title, Never oh, Been yeah, Kissed, right? Oh, well, yeah, definitely oh. just a title. Because, I mean, I might have oh, herpes. Oh, 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 oh TMI. No, TMI. I, I got into casting because I have a passion for helping actors. Because I've been on that side of the camera. I've been in front of the camera. I've been on the side everywhere. And I, I love to help and I love to give back. And San Antonio right now has some amazing talent. And we are on the up and up. So we established Andrew Aguilar Casting to not only help the Latino community, but um, you know all the talented, from the talent pool that we have here in San Antonio. It's just amazing. Well, I have to tell you that I am really thrilled. I did get cast recently in one of your projects. So our Latin TV connection viewers are going to have to stay tuned to watch what that film is. But in the meantime, we have to get going because we really are in the middle of one of the theaters. Andrew, we just got done watching one of the films, Mission Park. Tremendous film. You have to stay tuned for that because I have a special surprise coming up for you in just a few minutes. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Rita Varios right here. Latin Connection TV.